Let me show you how we cook an easy and quick holiday ham recipe using our new brown sugar habanero glaze. All right guys, the first thing we wanna to do to get started on our double smoked ham is we've got it out of the pack. I hadn't dried it off for anything. I'm not using any mustard binders or anything. I've just got some of our competition rub. So I'm choosing this rub because it's got a little bit of pecan rub in it. It's got a little bit of honey rub in it. Those are good fall flavors that's gonna work really good with our new brown sugar habanero glaze. Now this is one of three of new glazes that I've just released. I've talked about it for over five years finally getting them to market. It's been a, been a wild ride, but I know these types of glazes are something everybody's looking for. So let's get some competition rub on this ham. Now, I'm just gonna honestly use my hand as a guide here and kind of just go around that, sprinkling it, letting it fall. I'm not trying to get a whole lot of rub on this ham, but just a little bit to impart, just a little bit of flavor to catch that glaze. See how I'm letting it water fall down there? Just kind of hold your hand. Kind of let it waterfall. You can kind of pat around using the back side of my hand here. Now, down on the bottom. Now, said not a lot. The ham's wet. It doesn't take a lot. Now, I've got my Traeger fired up, running at 300 degrees with some Royal Oak charcoal pellets. I'm gonna get it on here, and I'm gonna let it go, honestly, for about an hour and a half before I even check it. You wanna get your ham somewhere around 110, 125 degrees, somewhere in that 15 degree swing, and then start glazing it up. You wanna be careful though, because you wanna wait to the last 10 or 15 degrees to really do that with a, with a rub with this kind of sugar in it, or a glaze, because you don't want it to crystallize on you, you just want a good, sweet, tacky glaze. So let's get this ham on the grill and let it go. And like I said today, we're cooking on our Traeger Ironwood 885. This is a great, simple grill. So I'm gonna get this in the middle of the rack here and let it go, like I said, for about an hour and a half. Let those charcoal pellets do its job. All right, our ham has been going almost an hour and 45 minutes. We're hitting 115 degrees in this ham right here. Look at this beautiful color that it has. Let's get some glaze on it over there now. And let it get sticky. Now that we've got our ham off the grill, this is really simple, really easy. I put it on a sheet pan here because I didn't want to get my grill all dirty with all that. So I put it on a little cooling rack here to cook earlier. I've got it on a sheet pan. Or you can cook the ham on a sheet pan the whole time. It's completely up to you. I just didn't want to make a mess when I go to four in the glaze. So I'm going to take our new brown sugar honey habanero glaze here and kind of just pour over this ham. Oh, and I can't wait till y'all smell this. Now that we've got this glazed up all good, you can do two things. You can return it to the grill just like this, or if you want it more like the honey baked ham store at this point, you can take a little bit of turbinado sugar and kind of sprinkle on it to get a little more of that crunch. I'm not doing that today because I don't want it to caramelize and crystallize too much and get too hard on me, but it's totally up to you of how you like your ham. But this right here is gonna set it over the top for me. So let's get it back on the smoker. Let it go till it gets to 140 degrees. All right, we're three and a half hours into this. Our ham's been glazing for about 35, 40 minutes now. As you can see, oh, look at that. Beautiful color, beautiful separation. Just starting to caramelize the right way. I'd say this ham is done. Let's get it off, let it rest, and of course, take a bite. All right, just to recap a little bit about our smoked brown sugar ham. So I took a ham I got from Costco, a spiral cut ham, cut it out of the pack, didn't dry it off or anything, seasoned it with a little bit of our competition rub. It's got some really good holiday inspired flavors in it with a little bit of our con rub and a little bit of our honey rub in it. We then turned around, put it on our Traeger with our roll oak pellets, let it smoke till it reached about 115 degrees and then we glazed it up with our brown sugar habanero glaze. Don't be afraid that this glaze is gonna be too spicy for you it's not super spicy. The heat cooks off of it a really good bit. This ham turned out incredible. The flavor combination of these two, this rub and this new glaze that we have here, I, I don't know, I, the taste, I absolutely love it. The smell, the way that it smells, there's only one thing left to do and that's get in here and try a bite. Let's cut a bite and try it. Now I'm gonna get in here and take a little bite off of this.
I'm gonna reach under here, just cut a little bit of that off. Now, if you look at the moisture and the good sticky crust that that ham created, oh. Mm. This ham is guaranteed to be a hit at your next holiday party. If you like what we're doing on our channel, be sure to like, subscribe, follow along, and be sure to share it with your friends. You can find us on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, TikTok, Pinterest, and of course, YouTube. I'll see you next week with another video.